umpire holds the ball aloft. 4 6 30, Australian Defence Force. BW All Stars, three straight 18. Out of the centre. Trying to get onto his carpenter, unsuccessful. In there, Beasley Rufu was unsuccessful on the ground. Looking on Foster. And the umpire laying play to go on. Despite the rugby scrum at the moment. Out towards Wilson. Towards the outer side. One handed there was Mueller. Couldn't quite control it, but managed to keep it going. Support there from Foster. Lost out. Chance now for the Victorian women. But the free kick goes their way, and it will. And uh, the intensity seems to have picked up in this first 60 seconds compared to the ADF, who are just dominating the loose balls in the end of the second term. And the umpire just watching it go on, waiting for the hatch out. Will now. Kick doesn't travel too far. Howe just popped it long towards the half forward flank position. The kick looking for Jessica Foster to run onto it. Two coming at her. Gonna have to be the ham and the sandwich. Got round them both. Got the kick away in the nick of time as well. A pressure tackle wasn't going to stick. And she's backed up for another position. Just bounced off the canvas. That is sensational footy. And it's just going to find the boundary line as it's being seen over by Pearson. That's incredible by Foster. Two coming at her. Pulled down, got the kick away. Got back up. Went again, kicked it. And that play's going about 100 metres for the ADF. A very impressive play once again from Jess Foster. The throw in short. Picked up and cleaned up by number seven for the ADF. Brought in forward yet again. They're maintaining their dominance in this second term. Down the, uh, the club rooms in the mark taken by the ADF's number 18. And lining up Peter Stasevich. Takes the kick. 25 metres out from goal, the kick away from number 12, dragged down in the tackle, edging towards goal, and it's bouncing, bouncing, and is it taken out of play? No, says the boundary umpire, the click clearing kick isn't clear and cleared enough, taken away by number 7 for the ADF, driving it in, and number 12 for the defence force is uh, Brittany Watt, turning around, taking the kick, and it's a goal to the ADF. Getting underway in this second half with the, with the major and uh, extending their lead after dominating much of the second term. Pete, I do have some news for you that number nine uh, was Trisha Mauler, suffered a, a shoulder injury of sorts in that second term. Good news is for uh, Defence Force fans that she's back on the ground, gaining a couple of possessions already, and uh, we do hope that her shoulder does hold up well in this second half. Trisha Mauler, of course, a petty officer in the Navy, and that goal there kicked by Brittany Watt, who's a private in the Air Force. And that sees the move out to 5-6-36, doubled the Victorian women's scores, three straight 18. Ball up in the middle of the ground. Danuccio tries to keep it going, keeps slapping it forward, but the ADF again with their speed, first to the ball. They're just gonna have to do some grunt work here. Got bowled over, nice head the umpire. Mueller went in again, maybe caught. He's green with that headband. You could turn the lights off, but the headband would still glow. Got across to Stasevic. Stasevic went long towards in a half forward position. Bounces for Freeman. Got it out to Foster. Foster spins around. Hand pass back. Went to Mueller. Got a weave through traffic. Went wide with a kick looking for Wilson in the pocket. It bounces one, it bounces twice. Wilson holds her up. Here's the hand pass. And the umpire says that will be out of bounds and will throw it back into play. And Peter, the throw in about 45 to 50 metres out from the uh, ADF skull. Again, pushing forward. The VWFL holding up well. The clearing kick. The mark can't be taken by number six, Shaley Murphy-Burke. And the ball's taken away. The clearing kick comes off the side of the boot, coming to the commentary side of the ground. The tough bump there from number 14 from the ADF. And that's uh, Kerry Walton. And the clearing kick again from the VWFL. Can't find one of their players hugging against the boundary line of the broadcast side. We have a player down injured yet again, number 14. It's the girl with the orange headband clearing it away for the VWFL, Samantha Green. And again, driving forward here. It's the team in pink, the VWFL, trying to compete and contest the ball. Going over the top is an ADF player. And it's going to be a free kick, says the umpire in the back. Given away by Olivia Brown, the number three for the ADF and a chance for the VWFL to get some scoreboard pressure back in their favour. Here's the long kick, just went through the hands, unable to control it, tackle laid on by Brittany Abel, tries to hold up the pill, goes back in to try and get it again. The umpire might have to call this a stalemate and will call for the whistle. Player off injured, unfortunately Mueller again, again with the shoulder, landed a bit awkwardly hitting the ground then just in front of the broadcast position. 
Let's hope that uh, she'll be okay and they can get her back out there on the paddock because she's been playing very well. A shot on goal resulting free kick out of this is going the way of the Victorian women. And here's the right boot. It's travelling long and it is away to the left. That's their first blemish on the scorecard for this evening. And in the third term, early stages, they move to 3-1-19. The Victorian women uh, trial the Australian Defence Force 5-6-36. Here's the kick out. Hands up by Green. Ball hit the deck. Who's going to be first to try and extract it out? Charging in there is Walden. Ball is going to be hatched out. Warden goes in to get it now. Got crushed as soon as she had the ball. Murphy Burke was fighting for it. But again, Brittany Abel, Brianna Abel, pardon me. And the umpire blows the whistle. Says holding. And that's a free kick going the way of the ADF. Weeze around the player on the mark. There's the long kick. Will it set here for Gabrielle Pound? It does. She hand passed to no one in particular. On the deck. Can Van Newkirk pick it up? No, she can't, but she had support there. And that was Ruby Grounds going with the hand pass. Here's the kick, and it's a beautifully weighted kick. And just floating across the air, did it easily, was Jane Weaselman. Jane Weaselman, we're in the number 10 from Melbourne Uni. Gets on the right boot, down the corridor. Green got caught from behind. Here's a chance. Here's a cute little snap over the shoulder. Waiting there, fighting for it in the goal square. And the umpire says, uh, holding infringement. And uh, the whistle free kick will go the way it's of the Victorian women's side. And uh, the player, I think, looks like Van Newkirk. Sarah Van Newkirk, of course, from Diamond Creek. An awkward angle, had to go to the check side. Went across the face, though. Foot race on. Numbers there with the ADF. A little scoop out. Christmas gift there for Emma Grant. Had to get rid of it quickly like it was a hot potato. Waiting for it there as humans. Went out past her. She couldn't control it. Instead, ended up in the hands there. Murphy Burke, who swung around, put it up towards Green. Two bites of the cherry. Couldn't quite hold on to it. And again, taken away by Rhiannon Bush, who just goes towards the boundary line. Foster zipping around. Kicks the ball up the line. Gains about 40 metres. And as they say, finds touch. And uh, Peter, in the middle, midst of all that, Trisha Mueller just getting a bit of attention from the VWFL trainer. They've applied the ice, they've strapped it up somewhat, and we hope she can return to the field at some point tonight. The throw-in comes in short, sure, number 23 for the VWFL Gus All-Stars. Alana Bell doing the work in the ruck, draws it forward, competing on the ground, Seeing players from both sides as edges around the 50 metre mark out from the VWFL goal. Trying to find a mark here. Going up strongly is number nine. And Taylor Denuccio can't hold on to it and it spills out of play. We'll have another throw in this time. 35 metres out, hugging the boundary line. It comes in. The throw in advantage to the ADF's number 15. Who forces it forward yet again. It's still trickling along the boundary line. The uh, boundary umpire. Calling it out of play, the third one in about a minute, and the players will reset. So the throw in, 35 out. The VWFL women are grabbing it out of there as Alana Bell throws it onto the boot. It's no good, but another attempt here. Snap across the body. Can she take the mark? No, she can't. A handball out into space, into dangerous territory. The VWFL finding some space here, getting the kick away, but it's the ADF. Last lines of defence, trying to clear it, a strong tackle. And it forces the kick only away 10 metres as the ball bounces around on the turf and the deck. And it comes away from the headband of the girl herself. She throws it onto the boot and across the face of goal for a minor score. And uh, the ADF, another chance to try and clear the defensive 50. The VWFL Peter really starting to uh, wrestle this one back in their favour. Indeed they are. Here's the kick. Went through the hands. Bit of the Butterfingers job there, if you don't mind. Kicked out towards the uh, wing position. Here's the foot race on. Freeman was waiting up for it. And she's beaten out to Freeman. And she's kicking towards the half forward flank position. Overrunning it there was O'Reilly. Couldn't hold on to it. And the Victorian women have got numbers there. Trying to get a chain of hand passes going. Had no one to connect with, though. Be disappointed in that. Trying to keep it alive there as Crowders kick it along the ground. Crowders will have to go again. They're shepherding for her. Gets it across there to uh, Schumann's, who kicked it up towards the half forward flank. Good grab. Players coming out of left, right and centre, Wilson, and uh, kicks towards the uh, boundary line. Holding on, oh, just through the hands there of Hunter. Hunter had to go again, a little bit of a scuffle off the ball as well as we speak. And the umpire blowing the whistle, saying holding the ball. And free kick going the way of the uh, ADF. 
and uh, ending up in the hands there of uh, Rachel Crowders wearing the number 15. Umpire's blown the whistle. It's a mark taken by Amy Carpenter. Still a long way out from home. Carpenter, whoops, has just put it in the canteen. Out of bounds on the floor, <laughs> straight off the side of the boot. Looks like one of my uh, wedges on the green out there on the golf course. Yeah, might have foot on her mic in there that way towards uh, the good old canteen there at the Sports Pavilion. And it's going to be the VWFL to try and uh, get this one away yet again. Uh, Geng looking to go along the boundary line. The kick looks strong. It comes forward and it's... Uh, Touch first by number 15, Rachel Crowthers. Can't hold on to it. Spilling on the deck. Players from both sides staking their claims to the position. It gets away. The quick, quick kick away. Enters a forward 50 for the Victorian women. Fighting hard to edge it forward to, their, to the goal line. And a clearing kick now to the ADF. A chance to sort of regain some composure through number 16. And Emma Grant drives it forward. No one can take the mark. Spills to the ground. Working hard is Alana Bell. Can't get the position. She does now. Gets the kick away. And to the forward, into the square now. But there's uh, ADF players in number, in, uh, in high number, in fact. But kicking it along the ground is uh, the VWFL women trying to edge it forward and get, get some clean position and clear uh, the forward 50 zone. It uh, looks like it's going to be locked up. The umpire blows his whistle and a, uh, and a ball up here. 55 metres out. From the ADF goal. And that's Danuccio trying to kick along the carpet. Got caught in the end. Hunter slapped it down to herself. Maybe uh, threw it there as she got held. No, said the umpire. will call play on. And trying to bust the way through the pack there is Brittany Watt. Wants to try and extract it. Hurried little kick there. Didn't give. And Brit well, Brittany Watt will have to go again. Umpire says a little bit of a trip there. And it's going to lay the Victorian women. And they'll find the ball at half back. And Hunter there. Ruckman decides to go on the right. Good kick. Here's Danuccio spotted out there, and on the halfback flank, Kingsbury drive side of the ground. It's the outer side here, away from the coaches, boxes, and the interchange, and of course does the commentators absolutely no favours, we can guarantee you that. Here's the long kick coming up, Wilson charging out afterwards, it? and the ball is close towards the boundary line, will go over the boundary line and out of bounds, in fact, about 60 metres out. If you've just joined us, we believe the score's the moment of 5.636 for the Defence Force, and I think they're 4.220, the Victorian women... We can tell you the scoreboard is below us <laughs> and not giving us much good sight at the moment. We can guarantee you that, folks. But we'll have those confirmed for you at three-quarter time. As uh, trying to bust their way through the pack, there's a the hand pass. Boss just put boots a ball and tried to gain some metres, and this might work out OK. Oh, this is excellent skill. And uh, who else, ladies and gentlemen, but Jess Foster took on two, gave away the hand pass, wanted to help with the, with the uh, shepherd as well in the square. Wilson putting on the pressure. The Victorian women on the last line of defence managed to save it, and they kick out towards the uh, halfback flank, now towards uh, the broadcast wing position. Amy Carpenter went in there and kept it alive. Carpenter had support, and that support was from Brittany Watt. Went backwards to Brittany Abel, and Brittany Abel just pumped it in long. Went over the head of a few, including Candace Freeman. Busting through there is Emma Grant. Emma Grant has a ping, and Emma Grant kicks the goal. Emma Grant came down from Bendigo today to play in this game, and for her, that is her first goal of the night. They moved to 6 6 42. Then 4 2 20, a commanding lead for the ADF now. The Victorian women in real trouble. And Peter, I tell you what, Emma Grant really uh, asserting herself on the game in this third quarter. She's been in a couple of passages of play, and the ADF in numbers, and uh, that's why they got that one inside Ford 50. Multiple players out here on the broadcast side wing getting that ball away and uh, getting that score on the board and extending their lead in this third term of this Anzac Day clash on the main oval of La Trobe University. The umpire balls it up, centre of the ground. Both players contesting it. It's the Victorian women getting away with it this time. No player getting the hands on the ball, but attempting to get it up there is number five, and Rhiannon Bush tries to get it away. It's cleared away by the ADF. Into space. It's going to be a foot race for this one. Players going for it. It's going to be the ADF in there first, but she's got VWFL players closing in very quickly. Going in for the tackle is number 12 for the All-Stars. Katie Hunter, but a holding the woman, says the umpire. And it's going to be number seven kicking this one into the Ford 50 for the ADF. Can't get first touch on at the defence force. It drops and clearing again the Victorian women fighting hard on the defensive and a very strong mark there taken by number four and Brittany Abel. A strong grab, a short kick now. Can she get on the end of it? No, she can't. The drop mark there 
gives the uh, ascendancy back to the ADF clearing kick now. Amy Carpenter drives it forward. Can't in into the forward 50, but taken away there by number 12. Brittany Watt driving it in. It's bouncing on the deck. Players from both sides again trying to get first touch. It's the Victorian women getting hands on it this time and a clearing ball from the fence. Usually Rufu managed to get it going quickly and they kicked around the corner. Katie Hunter trying to keep it alive. Foot race on out there. Brittany Abel for the ADF. Nearly went to ground. Has to try and dive onto it again. That is two women out there fighting desperately for the ball. Nearly got hold up enough for the umpire to hold up play. Decided not to in the end. They wanted to try and keep it alive. They just can't seem to get past the half. Halfway line at the moment, the Victorian women, and the ball has gone over the boundary line and out of bounds. The only control of this game, and we'll see a throw in. Scott Delero will go up in the uh, contest here, slap the ball down, but to no advantage because going to run onto it is Brittany Watt. She's got a burst of speed, and that speed has certainly been helping the ADF in this game. There's been no question about that. Umpire blows the whistle, holding infringement, and it's going the way of the Victorian women. And we'll just put the goggles on. I think it might be Jess Blake out there on the other side of the ground. No, it's Danuccio, in fact. It'll uh, kick up the line. Contest out there. Fighting hard for it. Brianna Abel in that contest. And the umpire, just a little longer on the whistle, finally says now that uh, going nowhere, we will have the pill back. 5 6 36, leading 4 2 20. 16 point lead going the way of the uh, ADF as. Uh, Cutting a sway oh, through there and walking long for Vicky Pearson, who had it momentarily. Pearson went back and got it again, kicked it uh, up the line, but it's only as far as about 20 metres. Venetia has seen the ball over the boundary line and out of bounds. Must be frustrating at the moment of the Victorian women's forwards. They just can't get anywhere near the ball. The ball's just not coming up there into the paddock. No, I can't do it in the ADF, really pushing up high here. No players in the forward line near the goal square. Allowing for a lot of space. It's uh, looking like a rugby pitch out there. Players everywhere around this one. It's going to be about 20 odd. It's coming out here for the Victorian women. Working hard. They find the space. Now they're away. It's a foot race on the outer wing. A kick up, the, up, down, the, uh, up down that wing. 30 metres down with the mark taken cleanly by the ADF. A long kick back the other way. Another 30 metre kick. And again, cleaned up nicely. And it's the Victorian women this time. Uh, on the edge of the centre square, he'll go straight back down the line. Big pack forms, going up. No player can get a fist onto it. It spills onto the deck under the halfway mark. The ADF player tackled strongly, driven into the ground. And uh, proceedings still take place. The ball bounces out. But there's a whistle, and it's going to be a free kick to the defence force on the outer side. A very far away from the broadcast box here at the main oval of the Tribune. Ball bouncing. ADF away here. A kick would be next on the agenda, surely. It goes long. Finding space. The defence force playing on his number three. Olivia Brown turns around, takes the kick, and across the face, unfortunately, for the defence force, a minus score. And the Victorian women breathe a sigh of relief for now. Again, another chance to try and clear the defensive 50. Uh, of course, Olivia Brown, a leading seaman in the Navy. He's a 17-point lead now for the ADF. Dangerous kick up the line. Nishio gave away the hand pass. Had to be a hot potato out there on the wing position. They've got some numbers. There's a tackle on laid on by Foster under pressure. And Caddy has the ball. Caddy Chat decides to go and does so until it was nearly cut off by Rihanna Bush, who's been holding up the back line very well this evening for the ADF. Gave off, there's the long kick. Freeman wants to park herself underneath it and takes a clean grab, which hasn't been happening a lot tonight for the girls. Here's the kick towards the centre half uh, forward position. Thompson is there, gets out the hand pass. Here's the hurry kicking towards the hot spot. Got to put the body on the line. That is a good grab. And uh, backing back there, McBain. And McBain's kick is an absolute shocker. Coming out towards the half forward play, doesn't do them any favours. Scaldolero has to put it on the line. Crashing her own teammate there in McKee. Fighting hard for it there is Olivia Brown. Got the hand pass out, keeping it alive. Head over the ball there, Brittany Watt. Skew up off the right boot though. Didn't go too far. Hand pass back, McBain's got to weep through. Back to she gets it. Got the hurried hand pass away. Close towards the boundary line. Taken away there by Schumann's. Schumann's decides to centre it. It's about 50 metres out, but it's done well. And that's because Adino had it, but only when it's far. There's a woman that's been marking a lot throughout the back line, controlling the back half for the ADF. is Rihanna Bush. And Rihanna Bush, well, the kick lets her down. I think she's found Hunter. 
And the Victorian women again just holding firm here. The ADF in numbers, now behind in numbers. Two players of the Victorian women grabs her high. And that's going to be a free kick to Samantha Graham, who plays on quickly. The woman with the orange headband kicks it short, 10 metres onto the broadcast side of the wing. Play comes up the field, and there's the buzzer for three-quarter time. And a tough contest in this third term, but it's going to be the ADF in front. Yep, she's not coming back. Put Trisha. The wrong, put the wrong score on the wrong team there. Should be 3 2 20 for the Vic women and 6 7 there for the ADF. VWFL.org.au and through YouTube.com. You're watching Women's Footy. And don't forget to follow at Women's Footy on Twitter as well because that is the official, uh, YouTube, uh, the official Twitter account for the VWFL. But they find themselves down because the ADF are leading 6 7 43 to the Victorian women 3 2 20. 23 points to the difference. A long task for the Vic women to try and come back into this game. But they've gone about the right way of starting by a good mark taken by Naomi Brisbane. A first clean grab they've taken at the uh, centre half foot position. Long into the hot spot. Green tried to crash her way through. Wrapped up by Carpenter. And uh, weaving through the pack. Here's a hurry kick by Bush. Trying to get it going long. Trying to get front posse there as how to try and keep it alive. Support from Colson there as well. Danuccio got in, got the quick hand pass. Waiting for it, Stasevich. Put it out towards Foster, who's been flying along. And it's ironic because she's a flying officer in the Air Force, believe it or not. Jess Foster goes in, hands and knees. Tries to get the hand pass out. Support there in Candace Freeman. Fighting hard for the pill out there on the Kingsbury Drive side of the ground. Umpire allowing this, what you could almost call a rugby mall, to keep going on. And eventually will blow the whistle and call for a ball up. And uh, I think it's Scaldaro is on the bottom of that pack. And Pete, I tell you what, this game's really tightened up after half time. A lot of players around the ball. There's a bit of space here now. And the Victorian women, though, coming away with their clearing ball now. Kick down the ground. The mark can't be taken by the ADF in the centre square on the far wing. And uh, a play, another player wrapped up in the tackle. The ball spills free. ADF finding space here around the back of the pack. But the Victorian women in number trying to force it out off the deck. Driven into the ground. The umpire says no in the back. Play on. A clearing kick inside Ford 50. And the mark nearly taken by the red head, head bandit. And a too high call coming from our umpire. And uh, it's going to be a chance here. Victorian women to cut the margin back. The score, 6-7-43, the ADF to the VWFL. 3-2-20 and a chance here. About 40 metres out, nearly directly in front. I think she might struggle for the distance. They really need someone like Naomi Brisbane hanging around the goal square because she's mm. shown earlier she can take a clean grab. Indeed. Rhymes it up here. The kick's going to fall short. Comes in. A huge pack form as the ball spills in front. Chance here for the VWFL. Clearing ball. Gets the kick. The snap's good. Splits the middle almost over the goal umpire's hat and cuts the margin back. It's now 4-2-26, the Victorian women to the ADF, 6-7-43. And uh, the, the Victorian women here off to a flying start in this final term. Maybe a chance to uh, wrestle the margin back into their, into their favour. And of course, you're watching this game online now at VWFL or on, or on YouTube. And of course, that goal kicked there by Gabrielle Pound from the Melbourne University Football Club. They'll be very happy with that because it brings it back to just 17 points the difference. If they can get another quick one on the board, momentum swings this way. In the ruck is McGrath. Ooh, ah, McGrath, trying to keep it going. Did so, quickly put boot to ball. Went up towards the centre half forward position. Brisbane overran it. Lurking near the pack is Carpenter and Foster. And the umpire comes in and says, uh, I'll call for a bounce. Instead, throws it up. Good work in these conditions. Going up there, McGrath brought the ball to ground. Carpenter threw her legs, couldn't control it. Rihanna Bush is there to try and keep it alive for the ADF. Fighting in there, Jess Blake. Umpire says that's a throw against Carpenter. And that means Jess Blake uh, will get the resulting free kick. Brisbane calling for it out in the flank. Decides to go along down the corridor. Green, you can't miss her with a headband. That's the direction she went. Wanted to get off the hand pass. Hesitated. In the back, yes, that's a resulting free kick. Carpenter giving away another one. Two in the space of a minute. And that means the free kick is going to end up with the girl who kicked one before, Gabrielle Pound from the Melbourne University. Long way out from home, 55 metres out. Decides to go long with the kick, came off hands, 
With there for the moment was O'Neill. Couldn't hang on to it. Ball on the ground. Needing a clear possession here. McGrath lurking about. Came out okay for Walden. who just put boot to ball. Got about 20 metres away from the defensive goal. There's Schumann's. Schumann's got caught. Stolen. Kicking towards the player there. Waiting back there. I think might be Bell. Got to turn around. Fighting for the pill. Fast. Trying to clog it up and maybe hope for a bounce. Hurry kick away by Thompson. Went up the line. This is dangerous football. Here's a hand pass away. Shagiga tries to kick it up the line towards the top of the square. Rhiannon Bush has been great today in the back line. Kicks it up. Bounce off the chest there of Weaselman. Here's a snap on goal by Caddy towards the top of the goal square. And Bush again being fantastic in defence. Kicks it up. Only far as uh, Jess Blake who puts it up towards the top of the goal square. And sneaks through for a minor score. But can they lock it in the forward line? Can they, the Victorian women? They're 4 3, 27. They trail by 16 points. The ADF, 6 7, 43. And Peter, tell you what, the bundle of the big sticks. Big kick out. This one looks like it might be coming straight back. But not if the ADF have their way. Hands on the ball, wrapping it up. And the umpire calls a throw up about 50 metres out on a 40 degree angle from the VWF goal. The ball's thrown up. Competing in the ruck, Bridget McGrath. Gets the tap away, she picks it up, tries to get through, but wrapped up by one, two, three ADF players. And uh, giving away the three there is uh, Bra, number 17, from the VWFL. And the ADF are away, kicking it into the middle of the ground to the centre square. Clean mark taken by number 21, Stephanie Schumanns. Gets the kick away over the top of the VWFL player and picked up nicely. Clean handball out to the player at the back, waiting there. Then picked up again by number 7. And the kick forward. Can't get inside forward 50, but both players competing hard for the ball. It's a solid bump coming through, crashing through the packs. It's Rachel Crowthers. Can't get a clean hand on it, and it spills out yet again. A lot of players around this one. Can the ADF get some space? They can now into the forward 50. VWFL players closing in, gets a tackle, and the umpire calls holding the ball. Well, they've got to make a fast break, but they've really got no one to go to on the wing. Green sprinting out afterwards, had one hand to the ball, got it immediately wrapped up and in the back by Abel. So Green, Samantha Green with the headband from the Latrobe Beauty Club. This is her home ground. Kicks long up towards the wing position. Straight through the hands there of Alana Bell. Managed to get onto her teammate and Murphy Burke who kicked up the wing. Bush managed to get it though. And Bush went up. Bounce off the, the chest there of Brianna Abel. Managed to get it on though to Freeman who gave the hand pass away to Brittany Abel. And she popped it in long towards the forward line. On the ground for Watt. She fights for it Watt. She weaved through traffic and the kick just went straight up. And the kick went straight down. And unfortunately, it didn't gain any metres. It just went into a pack situation close towards the uh, close towards the boundary line. Freeman hand pass back to Carpenter, kicked along the ground only as far as Rhiannon and Colson. Colson went back, tried to pull out the ball. It's all locked up. The umpire will call for a bounce. Rhiannon Colson from the Melbourne Uni Football Club locking that up on the half back flank for the Victorian women. But this is not where they want the ball, it's the wrong end of the ground. And the throw up about 55 metres out the ADF, getting a clearing kick. It goes sideways across the face of goal, about 45 out. Now 50. The VWFL women playing in front, and they're away. Lots of space, oh. takes a lot of steps. The yeah. umpire steps in, says you've run too far, and it's going to go back the way of the ADF. And Peter, I can tell you that on the boundary, it doesn't look like Trisha Mueller is going to be returning tonight. She's strapped up and got the ice on, nursing a sore shoulder. As the kick goes forward yet again, the ADF moving in, closing in, and picked up nicely by Jessica Foster, I think it is, on the outer side. Gets the kick away, 20 metres. Now about 20 out from goal. Victorian women clearing ball. Goes short, no mark, wrapped up in the tackle. Drops it, the umpire says play on. And the kick away again, it smothers, and it goes trickling along the deck. Lots of players around this. No clean ball. It's very dewy out there. And the ball, this one, a high one. Top, 35 metres out. Closing in onto the ADF goal as they try and muster something here. They get the kick away. It's a foot race to the goals. The ADF outnumbered. Two to one. The Victorian women working hard on the last lines of defence. Getting it away. But it's not a clean ball. It spills to the ground. There's a kick. It clears the 50. They get it away. A sigh of relief for now. But it's going to come straight back. ADF get it. Wrapped up. Slung in the tackle. The umpire says play on. It's kicked out yet again. Victorian women under a lot of pressure here. The the ADF really working hard. It spills out to number 16. I think it's Emma Grant on that pocket. Gets it out to number 12. 
and the clearing kick across the face yes and yet again it's bouncing all over the place and we get it away Peter take it away and what was the kick that went across the face but guess what a mark is intercepted though and I think might be Riley out there for the uh, ADF and she's a long way from home decides to put it in towards the hot spot took one bounce and the Victorian women do have numbers back there. This mark has got to stick. One-handed. Wasn't good enough. Thompson had it. Kick was skewer off the right boot. Had support there, though. Coming in for the kick. Schumann's towards the square. Thompson putting the pressure on. Numbers back there, the Victorian women. But they're under siege at the moment. No doubt about that. Brittany Watt had to concede. Wilson tried to uh, chip backwards. Wasn't successful enough. Fluster went in there again. Tried to uh, go backwards. Going for the snap, Olivia Brown towards the top of the square. Came off hands. Thompson is there first. Can't pick it up. Ball on the ground. Six players there. Throw a picnic rug over them all. The umpire says the ball popped out. Who's going to be first to get a clean possession? It's a little dribble along the ground. But the Victorian women, they're breaking towards the broadcast side. Here's an important tussle. Good body work there by Emma Grant. Ball went out the back. Beasley Rootby trying to uh, bring it out. Wasn't successful enough, and the umpire says it's all locked up. We'll have a bounce. That's got to be expending some energy for the Victorian women at the wrong ends of the ground. They find themselves down 43-27, desperately needing a goal. And the ball spills after that ball up. 50 out from the ADF goal. They've been peppering the forward line, and they can't get anything, uh, any goods out of it so far. A lot of players around this, and it's wrapped up. And, Peter, I can tell you that we have a, had another player come off the ADF. Nursing a lot of injuries, and it looks like Brittany Abel's come off with some sort of an ankle injury. So we, we hope she's all right as she nurses that on the sidelines. The kick forward from number three, Olivia Brown, drives it in long. 15 out from the ADF goal. Can they get through here? The, v, the, v, the VWFL fighting hard, and they've been holding up well in these lines of defence in the last five minutes or so. It looks like they've got the numbers again, and there's a lot of players around this one. It's tight, it's hard, and it's tough. The umpire letting play continue. Play on, he says, and it's still wrapped up. And this time he blows a whistle, and we've got a ball out about 15 metres out from the Defence Forces goal. And the umpire just will clear the way before throwing it high in the air once again. Thompson won the tap down, went out the back door. Here's the quick snap by Emma Grant, and it's good! Goal! That could be the ice thing on the cake, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, for Emma Grant, that's her second of the night. 7-7-49, the Australian Defence Force. The Victorian Women Football League All-Stars, 4-3-27. It is now a 22-point margin. Emma Grant getting her second. And, of course, uh, Emma Grant, one of those players coming down from Bendigo. Late inclusion into the side and uh, has been fruitful with two second-half goals. There's been a lot of players impressing in this one, but yes, you, you, you're dead right there, Peter. Emma Grant being one of those key players for the ADF, uh, particularly in this second half. They've been dominating, and uh, they've got the ascendancy yet again with that goal. The toss-up in the middle of the ground, punched away nicely. The Victorian women not giving up here without a fight. Going in there, but hang on, the umpire is blowing his whistle. And in the back call, so the ADF a chance to... Launch another offensive. The kick about 20 metres, 20 to 30 metres. A good contest. No mark taken and the clearing kick away onto the broadcast wing. It's cleaned up there by number eight for the ADF. Brianna Abel running with the ball. Kicks along. Bit of a hole from Jessica Foster. Umpire says play on. There is a handball out. And this time the umpire says no. Didn't connect the hand. No handball. A throw. And the kick forward this time from number seven. It goes in there for the defence force. The Victorian women again finding hard. They haven't given up. It's good to see them not giving up in these dying stages. And here they go. Another hand on it. A clearing kick. Pushing wide. Pushing towards the boundary on the broadcast wing. Players dives over her. Number seven. Candace Freeman getting on top of that. Hands it out. Gets the kick forward. The VWFL plays everywhere here. Finds a way through. Gets a kick out and a strong mark from number 16 and Emma Grant. And decides to switch quickly and that's smart football. And uh, just going up to say, uh, excuse me, that is where the mark is. And uh, lining up for goal from about 40 metres out, it looks like number three, Olivia Brown. That's Brown with no E, B-R-R-O-W-N. And kicks towards the top of the goal square. But will fall short. And a chance for the Victorian women to uh, switch, and that's what they do. They go towards the outer side. In the foot race there is uh, Blake trying to keep it alive with Carpenter of the ADF. 
And the ball uh, just went over the boundary line now. The bounce. The umpire said maybe even accidentally come off the boot. And that will give the Victorian women a resulting free kick. They're down by 22 points. 4-3, 27 to 7, 7, 49. And don't forget you can watch uh, women's football streamed online and replays by going to the Victorian Women's Football League official YouTube channel. VW, VWFL official. Or just going to VWFL.org.au and clicking on videos when you find the tab. And the umpire's blowing the whistle. Says, I'll have the ball back. And we'll have another throw up on the half back flank here for the Victorian women. Half forward flank for the ADF. Shark quickly off the pack there by uh, Freeman, who kicked it in towards the forward line. It was on the carpet. Blake picked it up, got the little hand pass away. Constantino kicking towards the middle of the ground. Green coming out for it. Over the top of the ball is Amy Carpenter. Was that a trip? Yes, said the umpire. The tackle slipped. And Murphy Burke gets the resulting free kick at centre half back. Decides to use uh, the central corridor. Straight down the line. Through the hands. Couldn't be controlled. Rhiannon Bush was calling for it. Ignored. Goes towards the broadcast wing. Gabrielle Pound backs underneath it and takes the mark. Gabrielle kicking one goal so far this turn. Clean with the skills off the boot. Bush had it momentarily. Taken away by Bell who kept it alive. Weaselman now. Jane Weaselman wrapped up by Bush. Broke the tackle. Then gave the soup Nazi and said no soup for you. Got away. The kick though didn't go too far. And ends up backwards though with the player in Rihanna Bush who's been a superstar in defence for the ADF tonight. Coming up now and trying to keep it alive is Candace Freeman who's been having a sensational final quarter. Finds the safety of the boundary line. And better right underneath the broadcast box. The uh, throw in here coming from Natalie Pace. It comes in nice and high. Both uh, Ruckman and contesting the ball. It's coming away from Naomi Brisbane, fighting hard. Gets it out to number six, Shay Lee Murphy Burke. Gets a kick, but can't fight a Victorian women's player. And it'll be taken away by the ADF. A long kick going through the corridor, playing in front of Victorian women. And for that, earns a free. So the ball going to go the way of the number four, Jessica Blake, who plays on straight away. No, the umpire says no. You've got to come around the mark. Take two, Jess Blake with the free. Players pushing forward for the Victorian women. She decides to opt short, finds the mark. Playing on there for the Victorian women. Driving it forward, cops a nasty knock in the process and cleaned up nicely potentially. It's number five, Rhiannon Bush, having a solid game in defence as you mentioned earlier, Peter. Getting in the kick away, cleaned up here by number 16, Emma Grant, also featuring strongly tonight. Gets the kick away by the Victorian women in numbers. And here they go, again through number six. It's Shay Lee Murphy-Burke finding some uh, positions in the last couple of minutes. Wrapped up here, a lot of players around. Can the defence force get it out? They've been working hard. A handball, you'd think. The umpire thinks so. Play on. Puts the Dustin Martin hand up. Tries to fend off. Can't get away. It's knocked off from the boundary line. Saved from going out of play, the defence force. And we have a free kick, a hold in amongst all of that, Peter, take it away. Easily Rufu taking the free kick and will get the 50 uh, metre penalty. Brianna Bush, who have been praising tonight, we should mention, as a corporal in the Air Force. And been playing a sensational game and uh, if I was to give my best on ground, I'd say she certainly would be up there because it all starts from defence. But of course, you've had the likes of Foster and Carpenter as well, doing well on Emma Grant, who we've praised for the ADF. Here's Long trying to find Bell, bounce with her chest, ball hit the ground, trying to come away there, Weaselman, ball is scooped out, Naomi Brisbane lurking nearby, umpire said, yep, it was a scoop, and that will be the resulting uh, free kick, and it is going the way of the Victorian women, and uh, ending up in the hands there, another 29, Brianna McBain, and McBain, 55 metres out, decides to hug 